Hi everyone, my name is Rajesh and in this video we are going to have a look at some of the very basic Microsoft Excel skills that are needed for an ERP consultant. Now these are pretty basic skills and based on my experience as an ERP consultant for past 9 years, these are pretty much required for any ERP consultant whether it is technical or functional and even in case of functional consultant whether it is a finance consultant or a supply chain management consultant or a human capital management consultant. Again, in terms of product, whether you are working on Oracle Cloud or whether you are working on SAP S4 HANA or Microsoft Dynamics 365, irrespective of any of these, as an ERP consultant, you definitely need these skills to be bare minimum. Now, as I mentioned, these are very basic and on the internet, you will find a lot of videos covering a lot advanced skills in Excel. I truly believe that Microsoft Excel is one of the most powerful softwares that has been developed till date. And that's where there are a lot more things that you can do in MS Excel. However, the purpose of this video is not to teach you these skills per se, because for learning these skills, there are a lot of tools available out there on the internet. So if you want to do a particular thing in Microsoft Excel, and suppose that you don't know how to do that, then you always have Google to go back and check and then try those skills or try those functions or features in MS Excel. So the objective is not to teach you those skills as such, though I'm going to walk you through some of those skills. However, the objective is more to make you aware that these are the basic skills in Microsoft Excel that are very much needed as an ERP consultant. So let's begin. Now I have got this template in which I have listed the top 10 skills or the top 10 basic skills, as I would say, uh, which are needed for an ERP consultant. So the skills go like, First of all, find and replace. That's a small function in Excel. Then there is sort and filter, then paste spatial, then data validation, then removing duplicate and conditional formatting. Then some of the basic formulas like sum, average, if, trim and so on and so forth. Then how to convert a text to column, then VLOOKUP, pivot table and formatting discipline. So VLOOKUP and pivot table are two of the most talked about MS Excel skills as you would also agree. However, I would like to focus on this 10th topic, which is formatting discipline. That is often an ignored topic in the MS Excel, as I would say. Now we have got this 10 topics or 10 different features to cover in this basic Excel video. And that's where I would just like to split this videos in maybe a series of four to five videos, wherein we can see these features one by one and in detail. This is just to make sure that the video does not become too lengthy to watch and too boring to watch. So in this video, we are just going to cover the first two features, which are one find and replace and second sort and filter. All the subsequent features we'll be covering in our further videos in this series on MS Excel features that are important for ERP consultants. So let's begin with the first one which is around find and replace. So what I've done is I have prepared one example for each of these skills to show you the effective utilization of how exactly that skill or that feature can be used. So let's begin with find and replace. So let's assume that I have this data. Now, as I had mentioned in a couple of my previous videos that I am a trainer and what I do is I, let's say, train the Oracle cloud financial freshers. Then I take certain assessment tests for them. And then I have to analyze a lot of data. So what I've done is, is I have taken an example from that same domain, wherein I had assumed that I had conducted an assessment test for a bunch of trainees and I have got the results, which I now need to analyze. So first of all, how do I exactly use the find and replace? Now, for example, here I have got the question number one, two, and three, and I have got this answers true or false for trainee number one to trainee number 15. What I want to do now is I want to score one mark for each true answer and zero mark for each false answer. So for that, I can effectively use the find and replace. Now it will often come more handy if you know the keyboard shortcuts also for some of these features. For example, for this find and replace feature, the keyboard shortcut is control F. So let's do that. Now here I have got two windows like find and replace. Now, if I want to replace, like, as I mentioned, what I want to do here is I want to find out all true values. So I can 
mention true in find what and in replace I can mention one. Now I have got a bunch of advanced options over here. So if I want to match the case, then I can uh, take in this particular option. And then what will happen is suppose I write the true in small case. And if I try to click on replace all, it would say that we couldn't find any data to replace. But if I write that same word in the uh, uppercase or in the capital let letters, then I can replace all of them as you can see. So that's what the match case does. Similarly, this is self-explanatory. What it will do if you take this match entire cell content. So depending upon your need, you can use that. For now, let me not do that and simply mention false and replace that with zero what I want to do and click on replace all. So this is how you use the find and replace function. So that's the first function that we have. Going back to index, the second function that we have is sort and filter. So let me go to the sort and filter example. Now I'm just carrying forward that same example which I did for the past function. Imagine that I have already replaced all my question number one, two, three, true and false answers with one and zero. Now what I have also done is let's assume I have taken this total column and I want to sort of sort this data based on higher to lower values in the total column. That's what sort is used for. So let me simply select the data and the sort option you will find in this data tab over here, wherein under filter and sort, you have got this sort option. Now there are two peculiar things that need to be considered around this sort option. One is this checkbox, which is called my data has got header. So if you remove that, then you can see the selection that it will sort even your first row. But if you have selected this checkbox, it won't sort the first row because it will assume that the first row is header row. And then the second peculiar feature is around this add level. So for example, I don't just want to sort the data based on my total column from largest to smallest value. If that is to be done, that is pretty simple. I can say that sort by total and order largest to smallest. But suppose that after this level, I also want to sort the data further based on who scored the higher on question number one or in question number one. So what I can do is I can add a level over here then say that I want to now sort or rather first sorting is to be done by total column from largest to smallest. The second sorting then by it needs to be done by question one. Again, I would say largest to smallest. And when I click OK, it will give me my data in a sorted manner. Now here, just to show you the difference or just to show you what difference that second level made is something which you can see over here. Like in case of my all of these rows, which are my row number seven to 12, the value in total column is same, correct? But then it showed trainee two, nine, 15 rows as the first ones, because we had said that question number one is the second level based on which I need to do the sort. And that is where this is how my data got sorted. Second thing in sort and filter is obviously the filter, right? So here you can put in the filter then you can adjust the row width just to see your complete headings once you have applied the filter. And then there are again two features in the filter that I would rather want to focus. And one of those filters is the number operators or the values over there. Now, first of all, what's the basic use of the filter? Suppose that I want to view the data uh, of those trainees who have scored zero total score. So what I can do is I can click on this total filter I can remove the entire selection and I can just select zero and click OK. So that will show me only that data which has got the zero in total column. Similarly, I can restore the filter by selecting all. Now, one more thing is the number filters that you have over here. Let's say that I want to see all my data in this particular column that has got the values which are more than two or more than equal to two. Then now here, since I just have four values uh, in total, like four unique values in total, zero, one, two, and three, if I simply want to do that, you would say that, okay, you can simply do this way, right? But then imagine that there are hundred unique values out here. And that's where you can uh, effectively apply the number filter saying that greater than or equal to two, and then hit okay. And it will show you only those values that are greater than or equal to 
two. So that's how you can use the number filters. Again, if you want to cancel the filter, you can select all and filter out all the values. Similarly, you can also use the color filter. So for example, if you get, if you have got these values that are colored or highlighted in red, and if you just want to use this particular filter by color, then you can use it this way also. So this is, these are two peculiar things in the filter. So coming back to index, we have covered find and replace and sort and filter features in this video. In our subsequent videos, we will be covering the other features of MS Excel that are needed for the ERP consultants. Thank you everyone for watching this video. With the advent of cloud, the ERP solutions are becoming more and more affordable. And that's where even the small and mid-scale organizations are increasingly opting for ERP softwares. What it means for us is ERP consulting as a career option is now more lucrative than ever. So if you are a fresher finance, commerce and management graduate and want to build your career in the ERP consulting industry, then go visit www.yourerpcoach.com and hit that inquire button right now.